Yo, Fakuga Merge, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. So today I have something special for you guys. I went to Reddit to post all of my epic and sir comments and, you know, get some karma. While I was on the Hearts of Iron 4 subreddit, I found someone with a disaster save file. So I, I, I was like, yo, dude, send me, the, send me the file and I'll see if I can save it for you. So here we are, this man's world. He was Germany and yeah, he's in a pretty bad situation, you'll see in a minute. Do it right now, like the video, and subscribe, and check out the Discord, now, okay? I'm waiting, I'll wait, I'll wait for you to do it, now, do it. Okay, so from the start, I think you guys can see already a lot of problems with whatever this guy did. However, before you're like, go harass him or something, or say, oh, noob, etc. He only has 30 hours in the game, because when I saw this... And the things he did, I, I went to him and asked, yo bro, what happened? So a thing I want to state is, yes, he did cheat in this campaign. However, it's not that big of a deal because he only has 30 hours in the game. And all he did was, um, he, he wanted to get like, um, Danzig or War or something. I don't know, he did some funky things here. Whatever, just l deal with it. Who the hell are, is he at war with? Uh, well, pretty much, um, half the world. And the good part is that France went communist and the UK and the US uh, did not. So he's only at war with the common turn, which is slightly bigger in this timeline, unfortunately. And now what I do want to know is, my guy, uh, why is Greece red, yet still the kingdom of Greece and in your faction? They're not your puppet. So what happened here? I am confused, but we're going to ignore that. Okay, another thing is, um, as a great statement of showing that this guy does not really understand the game yet, which is fine, he only has 30 hours, I mean, it's a paradox game, you're a noob until like 200 hours, um, is that he didn't really change the division templates, and you see these templates named 3 and template 6, I did ask him if he let the AI run the country for a bit, and that these were AI generated, but no. It does appear that he was about to make an encirclement in Poland, which I do not actually want to give up on. But I also really need to reorganize the army. Now, for templates, he basically has the... Um, yeah, I don't know what this is. I don't know what you did with this, buddy. Um, why so so much anti-air? He had the tank division, the light tank division, you start off with as Germany, he just expanded. That's not too bad. Motorized division, he didn't really change, so that's okay. And then you have this infantry template that does actually look decent. But I recommend not going for anti-tank and don't do support artillery if you already have artillery on the, on the division itself. Also, something I want to point out, I had to buy a DLC to play this. Because this bozo, he had the, um, the German, uh, the Axis tank model DLC. I did not have that. So when I went into the game to start this up, the game told me, yeah, you need that. And I was like... Why? Why can't you just load it up without the models? But uh, I guess, okay, Paradox, it's fine. Here, here, get my five bucks. I'll deal with it. Or ten bucks, I don't know what it was. Uh, yeah, I have no idea exactly where to start. Uh, first of all, let's stop all the offensives. I think the Navy, though, was not looking too bad. Also, his industry is really strong. So I don't think I'll have that big of a... Uh, that, that much of a problem fixing that. But uh, this this whole production line is a mess to me, okay? I'm, I'm sorry, my guy, that's nothing on you. I just like to put all my navy stuff behind, uh, below the army stuff. So uh, I'm gonna fix this in a minute. Uh, what does the navy look like? Uh, let's get to that. Uh, decent, I would say. Uh, although he just built a shitload of subs. That's fine, I like that. Um, rest of the world, looking mighty sus, I guess. I mean, Britain did some funky things. Like, did they decolonize? Uh, yeah, they... They did. Uh, anyway, Italy is um, also in the common turn, apparently. Okay. And they're Ragnar del Sud. So the Civil War happened. I think this guy messed around a bit, but we're going to ignore that. And just enjoy it. And apparently, uh, apparently you lack 5,000 light things, my guy. Yikes. All right. Um, first of all, my guy, I'm going to show you how to set up your uh, generals a bit, a bit better than this. Because you just have all these separate generals for some reason. Let's make this look a little bit better. Because you're u still using the 20 width meta, by the way. Which um, hasn't been the meta for a long time. Well, I say a long time. Like two updates ago. But with uh, Barbarossa. 
I mean, they're not they're not dysfunctional or something. I just don't like to use them anymore. But my guy, how did you actually end up in this situation? Is what I'm still wondering. But we'll deal with it. Okay, first of all, the Dutch front. 23 divisions. Let's def delete all the cavalry to get some guns back. And, uh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Um, no! Oh! No, I have to do it all over again. Okay, I accidentally deleted the army instead of just, um, I mean, I accidentally deleted the unit instead of the army. Well, Riff Bozo, let's load the game up again. By the way, my guy, while I'm setting up things, uh, let me give you a tip. Don't use cavalry unless you are absolutely, like, needed. Uh, normally, I just use cavalry to do um, garrison duty. All right, what I was trying to show is how to set up a proper uh, army. Is you just take all the units in the area. Let me first delete these again. Take the units, click them onto a general. Click the general onto a field marshal. Select a field marshal. I like to give my uh, generals and field marshals colorings. They mean absolutely nothing to the outside eye, but they do to me. Now, one thing I wanted to ask you guys is like the offensive on the Netherlands is called Paul Brown, the automatically generated one. But I always thought the um, offensive on the Lowlands was called Fall Gelp. Does anybody of you know how that is? Anyway, what are the other front lines we have to de deal with? Yikes. Now I have either the choice to continue this or to abandon it. And I'm kind of hinging on abandoning it since you're being pushed out through Czechoslovakia. Now giving up on Austria is not something I'm too keen on because it's all mountains. So it's rather easy to defend. Okay, Magino will only need 24 divisions so I can take some from here. Wilhelm mm, Ritter von Leeb because extra entrenchment and infantry leader. Now your navy is doing convoy raiding which isn't too bad because then they can't naval invade you at least from here i mean yeah they can't from here either because they get blocked that's good so at least your navy is functional there's an italian camelry division in yugoslavia sure why not um i'm gonna okay another tip if you have a field marshal and you want to set up a front with him uh automatically the distributing the generals but you don't like how the ai uh, makes it a little bit like an Unproperly divided the front line whatever you don't like how it does it press shift and then create the front line set it up where you want and it won't and it will just distribute all the 32 units wherever it likes to to put them uh i think i will try to defend konigsberg since you have a pretty strong presence there for some reason actually no i'm gonna take units from there uh, i'll leave like 21 units here I am going to change all the motorized divisions into infantry divisions because we need to defend for now. All right, 35 light tank divisions. I would like to delete most of them. Okay, now I need to uh, check your production. But the problem with that is that I don't know what I'll be lacking once I start the game. Now, whatever you're building is okay, I guess. Uh, another tip is don't forget to... Queue more uh, dockyards for sh ship repair for when they break down. Also, I have an entire... Uh, I could make an entire video separately on how to effectively use submarines. I'm not doing that right now. Um, all I can say is keep them separate from the main navies. And let them do their own thing. Which is mostly convoy raiding. My guy, why are you not building artillery? Now, I don't want to sound um, like I know everything. Because I don't. Uh, however, I might prefer tactics as guns and butter, which includes just mass producing artillery support equipment and infantry equipment, since those are the cornerstones of your army. Uh, also, a quick tip, because I see you filled them all out. If you press this 10 or this 5, you can build way, you can put way more factories on a production line. So, use that. Uh, you do have a shitload of trucks, that's good. I like that. I mean, I know you had them on divisions, but uh, I'm gonna put them on logistics uh, shit. Uh, again, with uh, the icons, my guy, uh, I know the game automatically gives it a weird icon. And why is this a flame tank? Okay. Um, buddy, again, this is... I, I know you only have 30 hours in the game. But your tank, your light tank, is absolute garbage. I'm sorry to say it. If you were using it as a recon tank, okay. But you're not doing that. So I will keep the tank divisions, but I do know they're useless for a long time. Juist. 
What have you researched? Uh, okay, I can make a proper light tank. That's good. That's good. That's very important. Let's make a proper affordable light tank for you, my guy. Okay, so I think I've made a pretty good model. Um, it's focused on decent production cost, good soft attack, a little bit of breakthrough and armor. Speed, it's not 12, but I don't care about that too much. Everything above 8 is fast, in my opinion. Reliability isn't 100%, however, you did research, because I would have gone lower if I could. But you have researched maintenance company 1 at least, and a maintenance company can give 5% extra um, reliability if you put it on the division. So it gives 5% for each research, so the first one gets 5, second 10, 15 and so on. So I'm going to put a maintenance on the tank division and then they'll be fine. So I gave the tank an improved automatic cannon because it gives good soft attack and decent piercing for low production cost. Now, there is an alternative to a light tank, in my opinion. And that is giving it a basic high velocity cannon. But I only like to use those when I want to give a support tank to my infantry divisions and don't want to build anti-tank because I basically never build anti-tank anymore. Because it gives a little more piercing to a division. Um, so yeah, I could make another bigger explanation about tanks, but uh, not today, because this is already a lot. Because I, I'm explaining a lot because I want the guy that, that this happened to, to kind of understand what I'm doing, so he can uh, learn from the mistakes he made. And again, he only has 30 hours, so hey, no judgment, my guy. I think you just did this to defend against Czechoslovakia, but I feel like it's we're way beyond that point. So let's just delete it and start building more factories, because that's what I'll need. How many do you have? I mean, you're the, you, okay, let me put it like this. Your industry isn't awful. Uh, it just could have been a lot better. That's all I can say about it. Now, I'm going to put all the armies on motorization priority so they can get properly supplied. And I'm going to do something I've been afraid of doing is turn on the time. And I did not look yet at what you did with your air force. Um, however, I'm not producing any planes. So I think I'm just gonna. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna let them run out till they all uh, die or something. I don't really mind it. I am gonna retreat out of this pocket because I think it's way too dangerous to be in it. And I might have banned Silesia as well because it's uh, difficult to keep it when it's just when it's such a when it's such a thin strip of land. Okay, so the game has run for a few days. Let's see how awful the situation is in the army. You have a shitload of guns, my guy. I like that. I'm going to switch up the infantry divisions to what I actually like. 24 wits. So thank you for making all the infantry equipment. But I do need to start absolutely producing the shit out of goddamn artillery guns. Okay. So, southern front stable, western front stable. Now let's see if I can get the eastern front stable. Let's keep retreating because it's way too dangerous in there. Yep. Go back. What that guy said. Uh, yeah, I was afraid this might have, this might happen. And why are you attacking, dipshits? Okay, let's see. Can we fall back a little more? Now, these units are lost. I'm not even going to try to recover them. But you start retreating. Okay, yeah, the lack of artillery is not very nice. I might just entirely abandon the front in Konigsberg. Wait, where are you getting oil from, my guy? Ah, from the US. Why is there ships there, my guy? Why are you in the English Channel? Which one of your idiots is in the English Channel? Oh, that's just a suicide mission, my guy. Oh, this is a problem. This is an unforeseen problem. How the hell is this happening? Defend that quickly. How is the Siegfried line holding up? Uh, you do have level 2 forts. Just the, the standard from the focus. That's okay. I might need more units down there some at some point. But I feel like this eastern front is a little bit more of a problem. Stop counterattacking, you absolute idiots. Wait, you haven't done the Siegfried line yet. Oh, that's good. Then I can get extra forts there. Oh, that's wonderful. You just built them. Good job, my guy. Don't counter, you idiots. I think the west... Of, I'm sorry, the east front might hold for a bit. And then I want to use the tanks to take care of the Netherlands real quick. Because I need extra units uh, freed up. Oh, that's a problem. That is a problem. I might just straight up abandon Austria because of this. I might delete one of the artillery of the units. How is the support equipment? The 3000, good. Might be able to put a maintenance company on them. 
What are your shit here? I'm gonna go to extensive conscription and then total mobilization. Yeah, now I'm gonna go to service by requirement as soon as I can because we do need more manpower. And I know you are holding this and that's fun and he 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 ha and all, but I do not care for that front anymore actually. Because this is way bigger, I'm just gonna send him down there. Let's abandon Konigsberg for what it's worth. I might abandon Hinterpommern because it's just stretching the line for not much value. As long as this is going slow enough, I mean, unfortunately, they are straight in front of Berlin. That's uh, yikes. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and be he 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 ha. Let's just abandon Hinterpommern. Again, I put out my extra units yet because we need to defend Berlin quick. My guy, you really did kind of put me in a pickle here. Okay, wait, I do now have 11,000 extra tanks. So what I might do is I might give recon tanks to the entire infantry division. Yeah, that's only 5,000 tanks. That's, that that will give my... Uh, that, that actually will help. You know, a little bit of armor on the infantry divisions. Very good. So your crappy tanks aren't worth... Why can't this guy even attack there? What is this? Ooh, Berlin. Uh, get the fresh units there, quickly. He already became an organizer, logistical wizard. That's gonna be major, because that will make him use a lot less... Um, what do we call it? Supply. Supply. That's very good. That's him. That's very good. Yes. Retreat. Because I don't need you there. Okay, yeah. See, this is what I mean. Your tanks, they can't pierce them, but they barely do any damage, which is why they can't create a breakthrough. So I'm probably probably just gonna have to wait till the new ones start rolling in. Wait, who are you at war with, UK? You're at war with Poland. How did that happen? Wait, your justification? You were justifying on the Netherlands while already at war with them? How did that happen, my guy? I think we might be okay. I mean, it looks like we're holding the line, right? Yeah, I lost a little bit more. Okay, so we do have a bit of a problem in the Dutch. You're... Huh. Yeah, that might be a problem if the Dutch are actually doing good with their the production and shit. But let's see if I can encircle the Dutch tank division. It would be... Uh, it would be helpful, to say the least. Okay, yep, there goes the Dutch tank division. That's gonna be a major breakthrough. Yep, it's gone. Good. And it appears the French have abandoned the Dutch front. So I'm gonna do a dangerous uh, offensive and see if we can take them down. I have never had to fight for the Netherlands this hard, my guy. Unless I was the Netherlands. Okay, yeah, because the Dutch have artillery, it's just so hard to break through there. Okay, West Wall. Now I don't have to worry about the French front anymore. Because now I have level 5 ports. That's wonderful. Okay, we finally broke the rebel line. Oh, that's important. Maybe we can make a push for Amsterdam then. Hey, this art lack of artillery is not funny anymore. The Dutch are just breaking my infantry with their own. Yikes. How are you holding this? Jesus Christ. Okay, we broke Amsterdam. Now all we need is to make sure we can drive into it. Okay, we got in there. That's that's good. That's very good. How far the Dutch towards capitulation? Halfway there. Okay, okay. I just realized that it might also just be the Dutch Air Force that's causing part of the problem if I'm allowed to click on the airspace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that is that is definitely part of the problem, but they just have better units. They just have more artillery. Can't really do much about that. Holy hell, you actually did, were, were decrypting the Soviet Union. That's actually a good thing. Good job, my guy. No, I do think that if we could capitulate someone and take part of their artillery, that would uh, kind of benefit us a lot. So I'm still hoping we can take down the Netherlands. Turkey just joined the common turn. What happened? They were in my faction. Yo, you dipshits. Well, good luck, Bulgaria and um, Greece. However, you're not in the war, so it's fine, actually. Okay, so I've set up Carl Donuts with 120 submarines divided over 10 task forces. Now, why do I do this? Because a task force of submarines doing uh, convoy raiding... Is a most efficient at, at 10, if I remember that properly. I think it was nerfed, though, but it still works pretty decent. Um, I'm gonna set them up on the Atlantic Ocean so they can stop all the French convoys. Um, yep, like this. Um, with that, I can start um, getting convoys myself again to America to import the oil. Uh, and I make sure to do um, automatic split off and automatic reinforcement now automatic split off means if a ship is damaged it will only only that one ship will detach go to port repair and then go back and uh, automatic reinforcement how do i explain that um 
Basically, I'm gonna set up the new submarines that are built to go to the theater. Then they'll go into a reserve fleet. And when a ship in the task force gets shot down, or sunk is what I mean, then that ship gets replaced with one of the re reserves. And the other ships I'm gonna start using to defend convoys uh, coming in from America. I am also gonna set up the naval route to not go through the English Channel because that's just too dangerous. And if I am correct, uh, I'm also gonna block them from here and then they'll only go through the north like through safe waters to America. In the meantime, the front is very stable. That is uh, making me happy. That gives me hope. I am also up to date on artillery again. And once we get more, I'll improve the division. Okay, yeah, our submarines are doing a good job on raiding the French and Soviet convoys in the Atlantic Ocean. That will preoccupy their navies and then we can just uh, safely trade with the US for oil. And now there's circus divisions in the Netherlands. But only one Soviet and no tanks. Maybe the tanks can create a breakthrough. Oh no, the Soviets are bringing in the tanks again. And I do want them to keep grinding on my lines and lose all their manpower and equipment. Because that would help us immensely once they don't have it anymore. Oh, we did it. We took the airport. Does that mean they don't have... God damn it. Why doesn't it let me click on it? Yeah, they barely have any air support left. Let's try to take Den Haag now. I think I just lost some divisions down here. Oh, and Mussolini got assassinated. But that doesn't matter because he already capitulated. Yeah, so now there's just multiple non-aligned Italy's. But it's still fine. I mean, the front, as long as the front is being held, I'm happy. Oh, hell, they actually broke through here. Jesus. How did they do that? Get my strip, boys. How have you still not retaken Leeuwarden, you bozos? Oh, we took Maastricht. Wonderful. And Den Helder. I'm happy. Why is Brazil in your faction? What? Wait, Brazil is in your faction and Argentina. And you haven't called them to war. Uh. Anyway, let's just try to take Rotterdam for what it's worth. I don't think we're going to make it to Rotterdam. Let's just take Eindhoven first. Wait, who capitulated? Japan? Uh, yeah, and it's uh, looking mighty awful right now. Jesus Christ. But he still exists. So. Yeah, no, Hirohito still exists. Sure. Uh, I also realized I'm almost out of manpower because I forgot to go to service by requirement. But that's okay. Can't take Eindhoven either. Wait, no, we should be able to, right? Yeah, if I just reinforce the offensive and then pin them down in Rotterdam. Yep, there we go. Next target, Breda. And I think if we take that, they'll capitulate. Or while they attack me, I launch the counter-offensive on, on, I mean, Rotterdam. That would be very good as well. <laughs> Bodo van Helsdingen. Bozo. Holy, oh wait, now I have 5,000 extra artillery. But now we lack the manpower to improve the divisions. But manpower is, is coming back. So we can wait with that. And uh, what the fuck is this? There's a British Poland, a Soviet Poland, and then there's this which just stayed with the Russians. For, so I don't know. I'm I'm just gonna ignore that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Breaking Rotterdam is difficult because of the rivers and it's an urban area, but we should be able to eventually get it right. What the hell? Why is Italy purple now? Sure. Fucking sure. Why not? Okay. Why not? Hey, we took Breda. Will they capitulate now? Holy hell, 1%. Jesus Christ, Netherlands. Now, the problem with this whole British Poland thing is that it... Oh, wait, there's also a Poland. Okay, sure. Is that it went to the British, and I'm not at war with the British, so I'm gonna have to walk around it. Or I use it to create a... Yes, I'm gonna use it to create an encirclement in Hinterpommeren. And we almost took Rotterdam. Let's go. Rip bozos. Hoppakeetje, that's how you do it. Well, that's one finally taken care of. Okay, so because I think this British Poland is kind of bullshit, I'm just gonna switch to the Soviet Poland and annex it. So it's uh, a normal front, not this bullshit. I hope you guys can approve of that. Okay, guys, I fixed it. Hmm, the Portuguese are actually doing a good job in Africa. That's, that's very nice. Hungary proclaimed Greater Hungary. Yeah, you do not look so great right now, Hungary. Why did Iran just join the Japanese? So the Japanese are at war with the, the common turn again. Yeah, that's gonna go well for them. Wait, Finland joined. Oh, shite. Eh, I'm gonna make more units for them because we do have extra manpower. Let's see if I can save Finland from capitulation. They do look strong. Maybe I can just give them some guns and they'll, they'll be able to hold out. 
Okay, yeah, we with those units I sent, we can easily hold Finland. That's good. And that's a naval invasion in Finland, and we might be fucked. Now, unfortunately, Luxembourg is in the Allies, but I'll just ignore that and um, just ignore Luxembourg in its entirety and just go through Belgium. Are my units there in time? Can they stop the uh, Soviet offensive? Maybe we can retake the port as well. Let's set the offensive to go together with the tanks and declare war on Belgium. Let's hope they join the common turn. Or just no one and I am way too quick for them to join a faction. Yeah, they joined the common turn, that's fine. The tank division, if it can make it to Paris, that would be hilarious. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him go. Go, go, go. Faster. They are the Panzer Elite. Fuck no. Don't get stopped, Bozo. The Ghost Division. Let's go. Okay, this guy deserves the name. There you go. We now have a Ghost Division. I am also definitely giving this guy medals. Sorry, um, the, the Treaty of Brussels between the Allies and the Soviet Union. Uh, neither of you has control of Russell, but sure. We're ping chilling in Paris right now. That's hilarious. Let's see if we can just encircle the entire Maginot. Uh, yes. Yes, we can. Where is the French army? They're supposed to have like 200 divisions. Yeah, look at all these bozos in the Maginot. Jesus Christ, Portugal. How did you do so well in Africa? I mean, I don't mind. Good job, man. But it, uh, it's impressive. That's all I can say. Soviet Union, you piece of garbage. Thought you could run away, eh, bozo? Well, not for long. <laughs> bozo. Seriously, another naval invasion in, in goddamn uh, Finland. Please hold it off this time. Okay, yeah, that cost the Soviet Union a lot of troops, that stupid-ass naval invasion. Okay. Oh, there we go. The French are finally down. Bozos. Get fucked. Hey, they did it. They cleaned up the, the Soviet pockets in Finland. Good job, my man. I've also started to push into Italy. And then maybe soon we'll only have one front left. And then it's just one long, very long push to Moscow. In the meantime, in the meantime let's make a collaboration government on them. If I can, because it's difficult to get spies in the Soviet Union. But uh, let's just hope for the best. Honestly, now that... France is down. I don't think the uh, waters here are that dangerous anymore. So let's start using the navy in the Baltic Sea again to blockade the Soviet bozos. Okay, down to the last province in the uh, Maginot line. Let's see if that gets taken rather quick. Because it's only one crappy... Yep, there we go. Wonderful. Let's go. Bok jump. Okay, yeah. Italy is not even being that difficult about being conquered again. I mean, it's probably about the third time this happens to them in this game. And Hungary is fighting for their life. Eh, literally. Let's hope they can hold out a little bit longer because I want to start pushing on the Eastern Front once I, once I get Italy down. Greece will probably hold on because it's easy to defend all those mountains together with Albania. And I think Bulgaria might capitulate because they're in a very shitty position. Hey, the UK declared war on the Soviet Union. A little late, bozo. But I don't mind. It's better than nothing. And the US is in here. Yeah, no. This is going to be a piece of cake. And the entire Commonwealth just joined. Okay. Wait, what? So this is Spain. And Franco won the Civil War. Then why is the anarchist Spain still on the Balearic Islands? What happened, my guy? I'm so confused by, your, by the state of your game. Holy hell, Albania is actually pushing into Yugoslavia. Do it, my boys. Save Hungary. That is getting in it. How? Brazil, how did you even get your units there in Argentina? What? How did you get your units? What? I'm so confused by this game. How are those Brazilians and Argentinians even getting supply? Like, do they get it from the Hungarians from Budapest? Because, I mean, they can't get it from their home territory to Hungary. So how are they getting it? Yo, a nice little encirclement in Italy for the Reddit. Wow! <laughs> the United States has landed in Yugoslavia. Oh, that's stupid. Oh my god, I don't think Bulgaria is going to capitulate even when they're this down. Yeah, no, they're being liberated. Oh, that's good. That's lovely. Rip bozos. Yes, finally, we got Italy. Wait, shit, there's a camelry division left over in Italy. Goodbye, Italian Camelry Division that existed for some reason. 
Okay, yeah, I've almost reached Hungary and then we can save them. Uh, I think I'm gonna start the Grand Offensive on the Northern Front. I mean the Eastern Front, there we go. Yeah, it's all green bubbles, let's go. And the British have landed in the Baltics, that's great. And in Konigsberg. Oh no, they just... Wait, how did they get there? I don't know, I'm not gonna ask him many more questions anymore. The offensive is going incredibly well. We even just broke through the Czechoslovakian forts. I have no idea where their units even are at this point. Oh, they just have no manpower left and only 48 divisions. Yeah, now I can see how they are going uh, down. Because the Soviets are preoccupied with the Finnish and the British front. Ozeus. I think we might even be in time to save these, uh, this bulk of the uh, Hungarian army. Because for some reason they're still alive over there for, after years of fighting. Wait, what happened? <laughs> what happened to the Turks? The Ottoman Federation? Hey, we got Leningrad. Wonderful. But the Ottoman Federation, what? What happened in this focus tree? I am confused and refuse to elaborate any further because I don't know what's going on. Sorry, unification of the Baltics. It is just Estonia. What happened? What is going on in this world, man? I'm so confused. Hey, we're back in Konigsberg, boys. Let's go. Oh my god, the Greeks took Istanbul. I didn't even notice. Wait, I just got the event for the fall of Warsaw. Meaning this guy didn't even take Warsaw um, when he originally attacked Poland. My guy, what happened to you? I mean, like, what happened that caused it to go so terribly wrong for you? Like, I, I, I mean, I know you're a bit of a newbie, so that's okay. I mean, you only have 30 hours again. Like, seriously, do them. That's all fine and stuff. But what happened, my guy? Wait, Iran capitulated, but they never joined a faction, so now they actually became a puppet of the Soviet Union. While the Soviet Union is falling apart. Denmark! You mad lad, you just naval invaded Estonia. <laughs> Why? <laughs> With a motorized division nonetheless, what the fuck? What the hell? Why is the United Mexican States justifying on me? You don't even exist anymore, you goddamn dipshit. Hey, we almost walked into Moscow. Let's go, bozo. Ah, never mind, he got stopped, but not for long. And he's made it. Let's go, boys. That's hilarious. How many units are even stuck here? Jesus Christ. Well, that's gonna give us a lot of Reddit karma. Wait, this is a demilitarized zone. How did that happen? <laughs> wait, why is it the demilitarized? <laughs> No, wait, we can't capitulate them because it's a demilitarized zone. But it became that zone in the war. So what is this bullshit? Oh, you sly dog. Well, if I don't have to capitulate you, you... Um, no, I don't. So it doesn't matter. We can still take it. Seriously, how does that... <laughs> how, does... <laughs> how does it even happen? <laughs> and it just says, yeah, troops are not allowed to enter. Yeah, who's going to enforce that, buddy? Like, the USA... Germany, the British, they're all at war with you. Who's going to enforce this? The, the fuck, man? Brazil! Holy hell, they naval invaded the Soviet Union from the Baltic Sea. Yeah, no, I, I, you've uh, come to Brazil or Brazil comes to you, man. Should have known. Now, I do think something is messing the f up the file because um, this is not supposed to happen, but I don't really care. Uh, I think it's because he didn't have all of the DLC. And I think that's also why a lot of those weird things are happening, like, like this demilitarized zone and stuff. Hmm, interesting. Spain is just casually taking all three of the pots. Yeah, that's probably part of the fact that he didn't have all the DLC, but that's okay, it's funny at least. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? The Swedes? The United States? What the hell are they doing? <laughs> oh, this is funny. I like this game. What the? Who actually? Why did you? Argentina? What? So Portugal and Argentina navally invaded the Dutch East Indies. Why even make the effort? All right, guys. Up next, I'll switch to the Soviet Union and try to save it. I'm not going to do that. I'm not that suicidal, guys. At least not yet. Okay, guys. So the bigger the pocket, the more karma I can get from it on Reddit, right? So if we make this big pocket over here and i post it i should get a lot of karma uh, yeah no the ottomans just capitulated and i'm not sure jesus christ that greek tank looks insanely big 
But what I want to say is, so did the demilitarized zone stop existing? Or did they capitulate without us taking that and now we took it anyway and now the, the demilitarized zone is gone? Because I don't know, I hate this, I don't know what to say about this game anymore guys, it, it's incredibly weird. Big pocket, big pocket, karma, I need it for my reddit. It's the only validation I have in this life, it's all I care about. I am nothing without my reddit karma. I need validation from strange heart survivor players on the internet. What the hell happened to Bulgaria? Why are they suddenly communist? How did you go com- Why did you go What is go- This world is absolutely bonkers. With Afghanistan and Iraq submitted to the British. Wait, no, Iran. Okay, so Iran's been having a while, right? Firstly, getting invaded by the Soviet Union. Uh, not joining a faction, capitulating, becoming their pu puppet. Then having to fight with them against the Allies and the Axis. And then, in the middle of that war, submitting to the Allies and becoming their puppet. So, um, yeah, they be wild, man. To be a Iran, I would say. Oh, I think they're capitulating. Yeah, there we go. We won, bozos. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we won. Uh, so I think what he was going for with annexing Austria... Um, and going against Italy was that he was trying to create the Holy Roman Emperor Empire, I guess, maybe. Uh, there is another way to do that, by the way. You can have some funny shit happen with the British royals and then some chicky rules your country eventually. Uh, but I think I achieved what he was trying to achieve, I guess. I mean, doesn't really matter. Uh, we won. I beat that. Screw all of those bozos. Um, I think I fixed the Middle East by just... Uh, directly putting the US in charge. That's uh, that'll, that'll probably help there. Um, so yeah, I hope uh, the the guy that screwed it up the save file. I hope you learned a bit like how the game works, man. Uh, if not, you can always ask more questions. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe. How do? Also, wait, wait, wait. Also, join the Discord in the description if you want this save file. Um, for yourself then um, people should then comment it and I'll see if I can uh, arrange that uh, But yeah, once again like subscribe join the discord in the description down below and I'll see you guys next time How do hey guys? Check out this video, okay? You do me a huge favor by checking it out because I want to branch out, you know do other stuff as well